Well, howdy, folks. It's Matthew, your friendly neighborhood technician. Long time no post. I totally miss you guys. Uh, i just been so busy lately, but I found a good reason to post something here, so I thought I'd pop in and say hi. Uh, <coughs> bleh, I'm choking on my own tongue there. Thank you to everybody that stays true to my channel and sticks around. Thank you to all my uh, subscribers and everybody that supports this channel. Also, thank you to everybody that has become a part of this community and is answering people's questions and sharing knowledge in the forums or comment sections there. That is also awesome. I really appreciate everybody. So let's look at this 2016 Ford F-150 XLT. It's a good, beautiful truck. It's got about 94, 95,000 miles on it. It's time to service the transmission and the transfer case and all that other good stuff. Upon opening the hood, my apprentice Braxton noticed that the upper radiator hose was actually at the time, this area you see here, it's kind of oblong and shaped funny now, was completely collapsed and sucked in, as well as this area here was collapsed and sucked in. You see how soft that hose is now. And the lower radiator hose was also collapsed. So what causes that? It's actually a common thing on Fords, and it's somewhat of a simple fix. Getting to that lower radiator hose is never any fun. There's quite a bit of stuff in the way. And as you can see, it goes all the way down there. Okay, so getting to the lower radiator hose is, is no fun, but bottom line is there's no point in replacing these hoses after they've been collapsed if you haven't fixed the issue. And so what is the issue? The issue on these Fords and why the radiator hoses collapse is because of this cap right here. And so if you see your radiator hoses collapsed, and you release this cap and you hear it make a noise right and your hoses then go back to shape you know for a fact that your radiator cap needs to be replaced and that is because this is basically to keep it simple this is what pressurizes and all that other good stuff this is what helps the system breathe and so bottom line the radiator cap is no longer working correctly, and so you need to replace the radiator cap. And on the professional level, you also need to replace your radiator hoses, okay? We're not just saying it to charge you a bunch of, a bunch of extra money, but bottom line is once you've misshaped a radiator hose, once it's collapsed like that, it's really no longer any good. Radiator hoses are not supposed to be super duper flexible and they're also not supposed to swell up or do anything like that. So if you start seeing that, it's just wise to go ahead and replace radiator hoses. So upper and lower radiator hose and a new coolant cap and that will fix your collapsed radiator hose issue on your Ford F-150. So. Hey guys, thank you for taking a moment and checking out my video. I hope this helps somebody out there. If you just stop by this video and you have questions or anything on any of your projects, shoot them to us in the comment section. There's all kinds of cool people that are part of this community that are answering questions and all that other good stuff. I need to get back to work. This is Matthew, your friendly neighborhood technician, signing off.